In this short session, we will discuss cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And this is the primary or the first management step in a case of maternal collapse. We talked about shock in the previous nine sessions, including the disseminated intramuscular coagulation. So what if the patient goes into cardiac arrest for any reason? Sometimes it's the end stage of shock. Sometimes she goes into cardiac arrest without going into shock, like in massive pulmonary embolism, in infarction, myocardial infarction, dissecting aortic aneurysm, something like that. So what do we do? We do cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The usual cardiopulmonary resuscitation is to do chest compressions. And the chest compressions are approximately 100 to 120 per minute. The respiration, on the other hand, we'll talk about the respiration in a minute. But to maintain respiration, we need about two breaths every 30 compressions. The hand is placed flat on the chest and the other hand, the palm presses uh, with the body weight. but to perform the compressions of a depth of 5 cm to 6 cm and we avoid over compression. The respiration on the other hand, if the patient is not breathing, we need to supply air or oxygen. So what we do, the breaths are supplied by hyperextending the neck in order to display the tongue that is not displaced backwards and blocking the airway. And if there is an airway, you can put it, an airway tube. If not, then you just hold the mandible firmly anteriorly. You displace the mandible anteriorly while the neck is hyperextended. And you can perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. But usually we are in a hospital, so we use the ambu bag until we can do intubation. The most important thing in cardiopulmonary arrest is to perform early intubation. Now, the difference in the mother, the things you have to be aware of, is that, of course, you will alarm code blue so that the whole team comes in with the defibrillator. So the most important point in the respiration is the early intubation of the patient. And you use 100% oxygen because she's a pregnant lady and there is increased oxygen needs. And when you're doing compressions, it has to be, the back of the patient has to be on a flat board. And because she's pregnant, we want to displace the uterus to the left in order not to obstruct the inferior vena cava and the circulation. So this is the only difference between cardiopulmonary resuscitation in a trauma patient and in a pregnant lady. In a pregnant lady, you have to displace the uterus to the left. You have to check to make sure she's on, the back is on a flat board so the compressions are strong. And you have to do early intubation and start with 100% oxygen as soon as possible. When you alarm code blue, the defibrillator arrives. Now the defibrillator, you connect it to the patient and check the rhythm. Either it's a ventricular fibrillation or VTAC, ventricular tachycardia, or it is pulseless, AC stole completely. There is no trace on the uh, uh, defibrillator. If there is no trace, you resume the compressions and then, and you have to give epinephrine. How we give epinephrine? We give epinephrine one milligram every three to four to five minutes, depends, but not less than three minutes. The epinephrine we give is not the one, uh, the dilution one to 1,000, which is present for anaphylactic shock. It's one to 10,000, one to 10,000 dilution. And we give the whole ampoule, the whole ampoule is one milligram, so we give the whole ampoule either intracardiac, direct injection, intracostal space four or five, or endotracheal, or intraosseous if you have an intraosseous needle and there are no veins and no access to the patient, or the IV. And then we back again, see the defibrillator. If it goes to, if there is a pulse, or there is electric activity detected, then we can do the defibrillation and the one who does it usually the ICU specialist or the anesthesiologist. If no rhythm then you go back to the compressions and the epinephrine and epinephrine can be repeated up to the patient response or or declared dead. If there is rhythm then you have to treat the cause directly. If she's bleeding you have to arrest hemorrhage if 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 and continue with the resuscitation steps as usual. Our role in the cold blue for a maternal cardiac arrest is none of this. Or this, the specialist in the ICU or the 
uh, anesthesiologists are the one who will carry, carry out the CPR. For us, we watch the clock. I will leave them to do whatever they want for four minutes. Four minutes you have to perform resuscitative evacuation of the uterus. We have to do resuscitative caesarean or resuscitative hysterotomy, whatever you call it. But if the uterus is above 20 weeks, you have to do resuscitative evacuation. We do this to save the fetus and because patients have a better chance of survival if you evacuate the uterus. So we target the delivery within four to five minutes. The incision is better to be vertical because sometimes the surgery will, some cases of course of CPR, the cause is not well established. So maybe exploration needs to be done in the abdomen. Maybe we need to extend the wound and uh, work on cardiac surgery on spot. If you have these facilities, then it will be an advantage to do a vertical incision. So our role is the window I'm working in is four to five minutes. I should have the baby out in four to five minutes. Number two, the incision is vertical. Other than this, the usual that the uterus has to be displaced to the left side while I'm doing the compressions. This uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation is part of the organ support. This is the cardiorespiratory support, which was card number 10 in the session of resuscitation, session 8. When the patient returns to rhythm, then in the ICU, they search, we search for the cause of collapse. Usually it's not obstetric unless she was in prolonged shock. Maybe it's intracranial hemorrhage, if it's eclampsia or something. But we usually, this is the time to treat the cause of collapse. So CPR, and then we follow the guidelines of shock treatment as we stated it in this session.